Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna be testing the Runcam Hybrid 4K. We're gonna test its latency. We're not gonna do any video testing. So if you're expecting that in this video, it's not gonna be in this video because obviously I just received it and I haven't set it up anywhere. However, I did do the latency testing and also there's a couple things you need to know about this that I think is pretty interesting. Now, one main thing is it is insane how they're able to fit everything into this one single 20 by 20 board. For example, the only competitor we have is the Cadex Tarsier 4K. And that has like a triple double fat stack that needs to go together with a heatsink. And for Runcam to do it in a single 20 by 20 board right here, is just remarkable in my opinion and not only that the connection process is super simple look at that you can just install it in any quadcopter just put that connector right here like and you would do with any normal fpv camera and you're going to get yourself set up right away um that in itself the ease of use and the latency results are pretty interesting let's actually take a look at those however before we get into that come check out my shop i have awesome t-shirts that we're designing so far we have four designs we're going to be releasing our pre-order for our newest design which is going to be so sick it's a huge flight controller that's going to be off the back and it's going to have a, a hashtag fpv life but the flight controller is so huge just like half a meter long but the way it wraps around just looks absolutely insane so keep checking back and also these shirts uh, are pretty awesome as well this is actually gold it has a little flair to it not too much just subtle enough to look premium or it is actually premium these are italian uh, vinyl so come check out my shop all right so now let's take a look at the results here now we're going to take a look at a couple samples and you're going to be actually quite amazed like i was here so up top here is the video signal as you can see this is where the led was off and it turned on right here and on the bottom here, this simulates exactly the point when the LED turned on. So we could see that the LED turned on here and we see we got no response, no response, no response. And then we got the response right here. And I put these two cursors in order to measure the difference, how long it took for the camera to register the LED turning on, thus giving us the latency. So here with the LED turning on, we had 2.1 milliseconds of latency which is insane and it's consistent. Usually some FPV cameras would fluctuate. Uh, some of them are 25 milliseconds, some of them are 30 milliseconds. So you're talking about 2.1 milliseconds consistent. Let's take a look at another result here. Here's the same exact one. Here we have another one where I zoomed in even closer just to get that exact millisecond, 2.040 milliseconds in latency with the LED turning on. And why am I saying with the LED turning on? Because sometimes the latency does increase when the LED turns off. And we're going to see that in a bit here. So let's take a look at another result. Again, 2.04. So this is a result with the LED turning off. As you can tell, the LED was on. Boom, it went off here. And we can see this is where it registered. 3.4 milliseconds. That is really good, guys. Like, really, really good. That is insane. Here's another one with the LED turning on. Here's another one slightly more. This is uh, with the LED turning off here. 3.64 milliseconds. So this is the highest latency result I've gotten and I'm guessing it's using a rolling shutter because even within that whole packet frame or half a frame, it is actually registering the change, which is really great here. 3.6 milliseconds, that is quite remarkable. And Runcam, absolutely phenomenal job, like really awesome job in terms of the latency currently and the ease of setup and the overall package. In my opinion, uh, this is by far a really great um, package. Now, again, we just have to wait for my personal experience with the 4K footage as well as the uh, normal FPV footage, but I'm hoping it's going to be great. Hopefully it performs like the Runcam 5. And also let me know your feedback on the video quality and if you had any problems because that also helps out the community, not just myself, everyone else, to help them make an educated purchase. And that is the whole idea. And again, everything is linked down below. And again, if you really want to support the channel, come join my Patreon. I do a bunch of giveaways, premium giveaways. And also come check out my shop. I have really sick FPV shirts that you won't find anywhere else. Uh, just capturing the core essence of what we do. And I'm going to leave it at that, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.